Hey what's up guys, welcome to my humble overview. Now I've already played all five of what I would call the main titles in this humble bundle and I would like to just kind of wrap them up and give a more full picture of the humble bundle as a whole. Now I have played all five of the uh, Uncanny Valley, Cook, Serve, Delicious, Ink, Home, and Solstice, but I only did reviews of the first four and I'll get into that a little bit more and why I didn't do a full review on Solstice but I'm going to start from the top of the Humble Bundle so to give you a full view of it to tell you if you not tell you but give you a picture of if you want to purchase it now the first item on the first tier would be Game Maker now as the title of the Humble Bundle suggests Game Maker is the software that all of these games were made in. Now, I have never used Game Maker myself, but based on some of these games, it seems like it's a very good platform. Seems like you can get pretty in-depth with it if you're looking to make some kind of 2D game. Uh, I'm not really sure if there is a 3D modeling and uh, scripting but because all of these games are 2d based uh, but if you're looking to get into that it seems like a really good platform as like a, a jumping in point now the second title which I did do a review of and I will put an annotation up right now so you can see that review if you are interested uh, uncanny valley uncanny valley is a kind of 2d psychological horror game sort of focused on story and exploration it's very scary trust me I, I don't know I might just be a big baby but I found it to be very frightening and unsettling very scary moments there were some you know kind of jump scare sort of things but it mostly was kind of psychological atmospheric and downright monstrous just terrible things to see I'm not going to go too much into it. I don't want to spoil any part of the game. If you're interested in that kind of horror game, I would uh, encourage you to check it out. Next game, Cook, Serve, Delicious. Now, Cook, Serve, Delicious is a kind of time management restaurant simulation game. Now, I know that's a lot of kind of words to digest, but it's basically, if I were to boil it down into one kind of clickbaity phrase it's guitar hero with food <laughs> you're basically taking orders and trying to fulfill them based on you know the keystrokes that require that's required to fulfill them quickly and as quickly as possible but also doing it perfectly uh, so you're gonna go through the days and try to get more and more complex foods and more food items more customers eventually to get yourself to be a five-star restaurant that's cook serve delicious in a nutshell next game ink so ink is a 2d platformer which i also i also did a review of cook serve delicious so that will be an annotation during the time when i was talking about that maybe i'll just put them all up on the screen at once just so you can get to anywhere uh ink is a 2d platformer where you cannot see the platforms you have to use your ink to paint the walls to actually see where you're going uh, it's a very cool concept and I think at least on controller which was my experience uh, controls feel very good doesn't feel like you ha don't actually have control of your character feels tight um, I would recommend it if you're into something like Super Meat Boy it kind of has a similar feel to it uh, maybe not as fast it, it's fast definitely but maybe not as uh, kind of speed runny as Super Meat Boy but definitely fun if you were into that game also on the first tier of the Humble Bundle I'll kind of wrap these up all in one there are a few smaller games that you can demo for free on the Humble Bundle and there are a few smaller games that you kind of get with the first tier 
I think, yeah, that's, and the last tier as well. Uh, those games, well, Extreme Burger Defense and Highway Mutant you can get for free, uh, if you just, there's a thing, like a little, uh, box on the Humble Bundle page itself where you enter your, your email and it gives you, uh, the codes for the game, or it might just give you links. Uh, I'm not really sure how it works, uh... But if you're interested in some smaller games that are free of no charge to you, uh, you can check that out there. And the source code for Extreme Burger Defense and Freeway Mutant are in the first tier if you're interested in checking out how those games were made. Also, Shep Hard, which is a great name, and Angry Chicken Egg Madness are also available through the first tier with their source code. Again, if you want to check out how those games were made. Now, in the second tier, which at the time of this recording, uh, you must pay $12.16 to unlock, is the Game Maker module for HTML5. So, the first module in the first tier, I, I believe, is simply for Windows? It seems like it's simply for Windows, or it might just be to create the games and then you need the modules to export them. I'm not, again, I'm not really sure. I've never used Game Maker. Uh, but the HTML5 module is in the second tier, so you can create games and run them in HTML5 on your website if you're using HTML5. Uh, so that's, there you go. It's another tool for Game Maker if you are looking to get into that. Next thing on the uh, second tier would be Home, a unique horror ex adventure. Uh, also played this, uh, I reviewed it. I played it four or five years ago, whatever it came out pretty much. And uh, I remember having positive feelings and coming back to it, I still have positive feelings. Uh, again, it's kind of a 2D horror game, not unlike Uncanny Valley, but it's almost purely exploration and some puzzling elements. Uh, it's a little bit different to Uncanny Valley, not, not so psychological, more uh, atmospheric, while Uncanny Valley is kind of the reverse of that. So if you're a horror fan, this is definitely a good bundle to get some more kind of unique horror games. So my review is also up of that, so if you're interested, you can check that out. Next game is Solstice. Now, I did play some of this, and the reason I decided not to review it is not because I think it's bad. I think it's not conducive for a review, meaning it's it plays like a book, and it even says this in the game. It plays like you're reading a book. There's a lot of kind of reading what characters are saying and reading narration, and it, it's very story driven at least what I played uh, and purely it's a lot of reading and not too much user input there is a little bit of like dialogue options and what have you but it doesn't seem like a great game to review because anything would be spoilers and again it's it's like me telling you the first chapter of a book it just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to review but if you are into a kind of game which is mostly just a story and the way the art looked great like it, it wasn't much movement it was kind of like just two characters talking to each other in a setting but the art looked great so uh that solstice i did not review it but if you are into kind of a a, a game heavily based in story uh there's something for you Next thing in the second tier is Galactic Missile Defense, another smaller game, uh, and its source code to check out how it was made. Then in the second tier are the source codes for Uncanny Valley, Inc., uh, 10 Second Ninja X, which is another one of the games that you can uh, get for free on this Humble Bundle, and then the source code for Cook, Serve, Delicious. Uh, so all that's available in the second tier third tier which is the final tier it is unlocked by paying fifteen dollars or more uh, you get the Android iOS and Windows UWP model 
Now, Android and iOS modules, they, they're pretty self-explanatory. It's just game maker for Android and iOS. But I had to do it a little bit of research about what Windows UWP actually meant. And to my understanding, what it means is any device, pretty much any Microsoft kind of Windows-based device. So it gives the example of your app using this module will run on like for instance a Windows 10 phone or an Xbox or a, a Windows 10 desktop it it kind of just gives it a little bit wider breadth on Microsoft Windows kind of devices so that's what that means if you were curious and looking into getting uh, the $15 package to get all of these modules also in the $15 package is Flop Rocket, another smaller-ish game, and its source code. Then you get the source code for Solstice and Home. That is the entire Humble Bundle. Actually, also, if you, I think this might be true for any Humble Bundle that you buy, but uh, you get 10% off for Humble Monthly if you're looking into getting that. And you want this bundle, buy the bundle first and then get Humble Monthly because you'll get 10% off. And you also get a 10 or 40 percent coupon off for 10 second ninja x the full game i believe these um these free games are actually demos of the games uh at least 10 second ninja x is a demo the free version and the other games i believe are complete but 10 second ninja x is in fact a demo and you get a coupon for it by getting this humble bundle so I'll just go through the prices once more just to kind of wrap it up uh, minimum of one dollar for the first tier obviously I recommend you pay at least five dollars if you're looking to get into the first tier these games are definitely worth at least that uh, then it's 1216 at least at the time of this recording that's US dollars by the way um, for the second tier and 15 US dollars for the third tier uh, again you can check out my reviews if you're interested and thank you for watching later